my channel and if you are new hi my name is Maya today I'm going to answer some questions that are frequently asked um to not like only me because a lot of people don't ask me a lot of questions but also a lot of teenagers who are pregnant get asked so I thought this would be kind of a good sit down video to do um I don't even know how many questions um I did pick questions that I get asked very frequently and then I also went through and looked up some questions that teenagers are also asked a lot who are pregnant so if you guys had any of these questions on your mind that you want thought that maybe I should answer I might answer them now so also yeah. like I've said in my update video that I also recorded in this outfit um, I've been really big into water lately, and I am super duper thirsty right now, so if you see me take a break and drink some water, it's because I am super duper thirsty and all of that. But anyways, let's just get right on with the questions. If you see me looking down, it's because I have them all written in my pregnancy notebook. This notebook literally has all the information from video ideas to all the update videos that I've gone and done for the U my YouTube channel. Um, if you guys have any YouTube suggestions that you want me to do, comment them down below and I will actually shout you out of if when I do the video I will say your username so that they everybody like so that you get a shout out I guess. That makes sense. I don't know. <laughs> Let's just get right on with the question and answer. First answer is, what did your mom say when you told her you were pregnant? So, I actually didn't sit down and tell my mom I was pregnant. It actually was kind of like a very long process for me because my mom and me are pretty close and it was really hard to tell my mom because I didn't want her to yell at me and get mad at me and all that because I didn't want to deal with that on top of the stress and stuff of just finding out I was pregnant which you always should tell your parents if you are a teenager and you're pregnant you obviously should not try to hide it from them because trust me it is going to be 10 times harder if you try to hide it from your parents it might seem like a really good decision at first and like oh it's the best decision hide it from your parents but once you have to start getting rides to doctor's appointments and you get calls to home about your doctor's appointments and stuff, your parents will figure out and they will be 10 times more mad about finding out that way than if you just tell them. So definitely if make sure if you are a teen who is pregnant, make sure you just tell your parents because in the end it is worth it. Um, I texted my mom. So it was a process. I'll start from the beginning. Um, I found out on a Monday and I actually walked to this store, the fa the dollar store to buy a pregnancy test because I only had $4. Um, I had no other money. I was poor. I was broke. Um, I was working before I was, before I got pregnant. Like a few months before I had a job, but the person I was babysitting, her mom, their mom got a new job, so I ended up not having to watch them anymore, so I ended up not having to work anymore, so kind of lost my job there, but that's okay. Um, so whatever money I had with me, whether, I don't know how I got money, um, I went and I bought a pregnancy test, I think it was like $2.00 why a family dollar or a dollar store had something for two dollars and not one dollar is beyond me but i didn't want to really walk to the dollar store that was down there by the dollar store because there was like a strip mall kind of like a small strip mall where there's like different buildings and stuff and then there was a big grocery store and the next to the grocery store was kind of like a little mini strip mall that was attached to it that had another dollar store so there was a dollar store here and a dollar store here so I didn't want to walk the extra way to the other dollar store to go buy the one dollar pregnancy test I just wanted to go and get back because I was so tired I was exhausted um, and all that so I bought the pregnancy test there I put it in my bag and then I was so thirsty like I was out of breath I walked really really far to get to the store um, my parents thought I was walking up to my high school. 
Um, I left early because I was planning on hopefully going up to the high school, but I did not have time. So I walked to the dollar store, grabbed the pregnancy test, and went home, sat on my back deck until it would be around the time that I would be home. So it didn't look suspicious or anything. So I ended up going to the dollar store, buying the test, and then I went to the big grocery store because I needed a drink and I didn't have the money to buy a drink. So I went in there and I got a free water from the fountain. They gave me a cup and I just walked home with it, which was really annoying because I could have put like a bottle in my bag, but you have to pay for water bottles. I don't know. So I walked home, took the test, and I... So later that night, um, I was like, okay, I need to tell my mom. So I went into her room and I sat down on her futon that she has and we were just watching TV. And every time a commercial came on, I was like, just do it, just do it. And I never got the courage to do it. I just couldn't say it to her face. So the next day when she was at work, I told her, texted her and I said, I need to talk to you when you get home. And she instantly texted me, you better not be pregnant. And I was like, oh shit. It was just like, she, it was like a big fight that happened between me and her. It wasn't really fighting, it was more like, I don't know. But my dad also found out because I texted him, like I just was like, okay, if he's gonna get mad at me and yell at me, might as well have it done now, so. That all happened, so my mom and me weren't on really good terms when I first told her. She was really disappointed, but now she is very supportive, and she's here for me and all of that. The next question was, were you scared whenever you first found out you were pregnant? Um, I wasn't really, I was not scared. I was more, I wasn't necessarily stressed out. I was just concerned, I guess you could say. I was excited too, but... I was also concerned because neither me or my boyfriend have jobs and where I my bedroom is super duper small so definitely no space for a baby at all in here until I just moved around my entire room so now there is a little bit of room for a baby and I'm 17 I had just turned 17 when I found out I was pregnant so obviously I was like, oh, I'm 17. And then the next few days after I turned 17, I find out I'm pregnant. I'm like, great, I'm 17. So I wasn't necessarily scared. I was more nervous and excited about being a new mom. Um, the next question is, what made me keep the baby? Okay, this is a big question for me because a lot of people are like, you're 17. Why didn't you just like have an abortion or why didn't you choose to have give it up for adoption everything you could have lived your entire life baby free my thing is if you weren't supposed to have a baby it wouldn't have happened and i know yes accidents happen you could be on birth control you could be using condoms and you could still get pregnant teens are going to be having sex it just happens like it happens so when I found out I was pregnant I didn't think of it as oh my god I'm pregnant my life is ruined I thought oh my god I'm pregnant apparently this was something that was meant to happen so now I got to grow up and raise this baby because I was meant to and clearly something sh new that I was strong enough to be able to have this baby and to raise this child and be a good mom you know um, that's, I wasn't going to ever get an abortion. Um, if I really, really didn't think that I was ready for a baby, I would have given it up for adoption. I in no way would ever kill my child before it even saw the light of day. Like, that would break my heart. But keeping the baby was something that was big for me because it would honestly break my heart if I went through nine months of being pregnant and then just giving up everything because I would obviously I'm only 17 weeks right now and I've already fallen in love with this little one how did I feel when I found out I was pregnant when I found out I was pregnant I kind of already knew and I talk about this in my um how I found out I was pregnant video um, I really knew I was because 
at my birthday, when I turned 17, we didn't do like a big birthday thing this year or anything like that. There was no point. Um, what was I gonna say? Oh, um, we went out for dinner that night. My boyfriend went with me and my entire family was shocked because of how much I ate that night. And that kind of just like made me realize that I'm pregnant. Like I never eat this much. Like, if I'm eating an entire steak, chicken, mashed potatoes, and corn, I'm, like, I'm pregnant. I know that I'm pregnant. And you, I just felt it. Like, I could just tell that I was pregnant. So, when I eventually did find out, like, after I took my tests and everything, I did get, like, a little bit of anxiety inside me. Because I was like, oh, f like, oh my god, I have a child growing inside of me. But... I wasn't too shocked about this it. This question I have been asked, and it is, do people look at me differently knowing that I'm pregnant? And yes, a lot of people do look at me differently. There are a lot of people that actually do talk about me, like talk trash about me up at my old school. Um, there's, for instance, my friend told me that, I will be doing a video on this by the way. I did pre-record a video about this, but... I was still super duper like m not really mad but just like frustrated about it that when I filmed it it wasn't something that I should post so now that I'm more calmed down about it I'm going to refilm it and talk about it but um a lot of people do talk trash about me up at the high school I'm called so many names and obviously honestly I'm looked at differently when I go up there to just see friends everybody just stares at me like where's the baby bump like some people don't believe me that I'm pregnant because they don't see a baby bump and I'm like I'm not gonna end up showing for a while longer like it doesn't just come to a baby bump but that's not what happens so definitely I will talk about more about this in a separate video but yes people do look at me differently especially kids who are around my age or who are still in high school it's not really adults because where I live it's not uncommon for teens to be pregnant, so when they see a teen who has a baby bump, they're just like, oh, she's pregnant, okay. They don't look at me like, oh my god, she's pregnant. But, like, teenagers, they're mean. Like, I'm not so mean anymore. Like, when I was in high school, I was, like, a bitch. But I've left high school, I've grown up a lot, and I've realized a lot of stuff. I'm not as mean as what kids are in high school now. Like, it is bad at where I used to go to school. It is so bad the next question is how did my boyfriend react when i told him i was pregnant okay so the day that i went to go get my pregnancy test i had told him that i was going to get one so he knew right then and there that i could be pregnant so he kind of took the like he was with me on the journey so he wasn't necessarily here with me when i took it but he was here um uh, I did take a pregnancy test once before, but it didn't come up negative, so he kind of thought in his head, okay, she's not going to be pregnant, it's going to be one of those scare times. So, I think it kind of, like, took him by, like, a shock, kind of, I guess you could say. I took a pregnancy test as a joke a while back, so he was like, oh, ha ha ha, kind of like, oh, she's not pregnant, but this one, when I did take it, and I was like, for real, I was like, I'm thinking I'm pregnant. I think it kind of took him by shock that I it was actually positive like I talk about how I think I'm pretty sure I talk about how, how I found out I was pregnant how like I was when he called and everything it was just it was big like it was definitely an eye-opener for both of us at the time when I like found out I was pregnant the next question is do I plan to finish school yes um, if you guys notice, I post videos pretty early in the mornings. I normally post videos at 1 or 2 in the morning, somewhere around there. And that's because that's, like, really the time that I'm really got some free time because I'm homeschooled. I do online school, so I don't go to a normal school. I just sit home and do school all day. So even after the baby's born, I won't have to worry about leaving the house to go to school. I'll be able to sit home and like when the baby's taking a nap or something or the baby's content I can do a little bit of school or if Alan is watching the baby I can do some school so I'm definitely going to finish school and I'm also going to college because <clears throat> I want to be able to have a pretty good career 
that I'm able to do and make money for my child. I want to go to beauty school because the reason I want to go to beauty school is because a lot of my friends said that I should. Um, they are always asking me to do their hair, makeup, and all of that kind of stuff because they love it when I do hair and makeup. They love it when I dye my hair. They're always like, oh my god, I want my hair done like that because I just taught myself to do hair really, really well. Yes, I had a few miss-ups and stuff like that, but over the years, I've gotten super duper good at doing hair and makeup and stuff like that. Um, and I know beauty doing like going to like hair salons and just doing hair salons you don't make a lot but if I'm able to open my own business I can make a lot of money to be able to support me my boyfriend my child and future children that we want and that's my goal is to be able to help support my family mom came in and said good night to me and brought my dog in <laughs> so I had to pause the video um so I'm going to go through the last two questions really quickly um this question I get asked so much and even though i pretty much have it on all my social medias people still constantly ask me this question and the question is how old am i i am 17 when i found out i was pregnant i had just turned 17 um no i will not be turning 18 before the baby is born i will be turning 18 after the baby is born my birthday is november 10th so i'm definitely a winter baby but i'm so happy that my child is going to be born in the summertime because a lot of my family's birthdays are more in the winter slash springtime. So having a baby born in the summertime is a glorious thing because I won't have to worry about a bunch of other birthdays around the baby's birthday. So very thankful for that. And the last question is, am I getting married? So right now, me and my boyfriend have been going through some bumps in our relationship but that is normal because stress levels are super duper high we're trying to focus on the baby and we're just stressed out to the max so right now our relationship is on a bumpy road there are very good days but right now we do have promise rings promise slash engagement rings i guess you could say um i don't i'm not wearing mine right now because i took a bath earlier i'll show you guys what it looks like i don't know if i'll be able to show it they're just black rings and they have a little deer on them. I'll show you guys a better view of it. Hold on. Uh, this is what the ring looks like. Um, I couldn't get it to focus without the light on. So um, on the outside it has like little footprints and then the doe and the deer in the middle. And then in the inside of the ring it says his doe and his says her. For marriage plans, um, I'm... Not 18 yet, so we can't even live together right now, but once I turn 18, we are planning on hopefully getting an apartment so that me, him, and the baby can all just live together and that so that I can move out of my house and so that we have our own place because right now, he doesn't really live in a specific place. He jumps around from like living at friends' houses to like living at his grandfather's, which is just having our own place is going to be so much help much more better because one we won't have to worry about going back and forth to get each other to see each other and hanging out but also it'll give us a chance to live together and see how we're going to do just living together and stuff like that um but also um we don't want to get married too soon because we want to be together for a few years so that we know that it's actually going to work out and stuff, but probably about two years or even a year after I turn 18, maybe we'll get married, but it depends on if we're financially stable to have a wedding and to get married and stuff like that, and all of that kind of stuff. It's just like having another baby. I'm not going to try to have another baby or anything like that until I know that I'm financially stable to have another baby because... I'm not really financially stable to have this kid right now, so working hard on that. I really hope you guys enjoyed this question and answer. If you guys have any other questions that you want me to answer, definitely comment them down below and I will do another one of these. Um, also, follow all my social medias. I'm also selling two dresses, um, two pairs of leggings, and two PlayStation 3 games. Um, I will have the links of what website, like apps that I'm using to sell them down below and what my username is. So if you guys are interested, definitely go check them out. 
Um, I love you guys so, so much, and I will see you guys all in the next video. Bye, guys.